Okay, welcome to this video. What we're going to do here is we're going to spice up um, your game design a little bit and we're going to learn how to um, detect and handle when you run into something. So when you run into something, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, it could be uh, something that you want to hit, something there could be an enemy that you don't want to hit. And we're going to deal with um, what to do when that happens. So uh, what you've got here is you clicked on the link, took you to this page, uh, you got this project and right here you're going to have something that says remix. I want you to go ahead and hit the, hit your remix button. Once you get it remixed then you can start making this program your own. Okay, so you have remixed, you're ready to roll. Your first task, what we've got is um, kind of a lame game. I got you started with some of the keyboard movement, but basically this knight is going to be your dude that you can move around. Right now he's not very smart because he only listens to the right arrow. Right, if they, they press the right arrow, then he moves. Now what I want you to do, you've done some keyboard movement before, I want you to, um, I want him to be able to move up when they press up, left when they press left, down when they press down. So I want you, basically, you're going to kind of build on what's here. Your first task is to make him respond to all arrow keys. So go ahead and pause the video. I want you to go ahead and make that work now. But don't forget that this clone or duplicate tool may be handy for you. That could be your best friend. So if you feel like using him to cheat a little bit, uh, go ahead. But make him respond to all four arrow keys. Okay, so you have unpaused because you're ready to roll. And your knight, when, I, when you press right, when you press left, when you press up, when you press down. So right now you have this guy completely responsive. And he will respond to all those things. Now, what we want to do is when he touches, when he, his mission is to go over here and rescue the princess or whatnot. So when, when he gets close to her, we want the game to be over um, with a win. So here's what I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to show you how to detect that you're over there. So go with me now. We're going to hit the events. And what we're going to do, you already have one of these when the green flag is clicked. I'm going to put another one. So there's he, so when the game starts, he's going to be thinking about two different things. He's going to be thinking about moving and he's going to be thinking about um, getting to the princess. Now, once you've got this, and those are called, that's kind of like called parallelism because you've got two things running in parallel over here in your control. So pause me if you need to keep up. In your control, you've got this thing that says wait until right so you're gonna wait until and now we're gonna go over to sensing and you notice in the in your sensing tab all these things look like they would fit in that little spot right there because they have the same shape and the very first one right here that you want is called touching oh I didn't mean to do that I clicked this right now and it says false you are not touching the mouse pointer okay um, I want to do this I can do, do when I'm touching the edge of the screen, and then it, it will go ahead and list out all the other sprites on the screen for you, which is kind of handy. What you want to do is say, boom, wait until I'm touching the princess. Very cool. So at some point when this sprite is touching the other sprite, um, something could happen. So we've got this green flag clicked, and it's waiting, waiting, waiting. When this event occurs, when... The, when you the two sprites will collide with each other then what I'm gonna say is well, I don't know what, what do you want to happen let's say um, let's do this I'm gonna go to events and let's broadcast a message so that everybody can hear it and I'm gonna broadcast the fact that I won so now the knight will secretly tell everybody that he is that the the game is won. Uh, and then let's say go back to control. I want to grab this stop block. And I want to stop everything else that's happening in my brain, which would be all this movement. So all this movement that's going on over here just gets stopped put on pause so you can't move anymore so that, so you'll feel like the game is over so once you have this I should be able to drive around and this is not so much fun because now it just stopped so let's make this a little fancier 
Um, I don't know. What should he say if he... I don't know. Boom. So now that block is waiting, 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 because we haven't collided. The moment we collided, that happens. The game is over, and I can't stop. Now, or I can't move. Let's do one more thing. All this is in the brain of the knight. Let's hop over into the brain of the princess. Right now, um, she's got some stuff that's not all that exciting. What I'm going to say is, we, and of course there's a couple different ways we could do this, but what I'm going to say is I'm going to go to this control. Now pause me if you need to catch up. I'm going to say, no, I lied. I'm going to go to events, I'm sorry, and I'm going to say when she hears that the game has been won. Right, so she's going to respond. The night broad, will broadcast that fact that the game has been won. She's going to hear that secret message. She will do two things to make things happier. By the way, she's got two costumes. So we're going to go to looks. We're going to switch her costume to hearts. And let's do this. Let's switch the backdrop. Whoops. To winner. Because there are a couple different backdrops. So now this will be exciting. The knight does his business. The knight's coat is waiting until he collides with the princess. He collides with her. He broadcasts the one message. She receives it. She does some changing of the backdrop and her costume. Now, I love that when the green flag gets clicked, she will switch back to normal. And the backdrop will switch back to normal. So you can just do it again. Boop. Everything switches back. Now we should put a sound in there too. That'd be pretty cool. But there is that's your first bit of collisions. What I want you to do now, without me, now that you have this business, I want you to think about this block right here. Your mission is to have the knight respond to colliding with the dragon as well. But this time, when he when he collides to the, with the dragon, I want him to say the game is over and you have lost. So you're going to have to deal with, you get a different backdrop you want to go to, you want to say something that makes it sound like you lost the game, um, etc. So, so I just want you to think about what's going on here. I want you to be inspired by this and I want you to respond to touching the dragon and touching the dragon is a negative thing. So when you, when you get done with that, you should be able to win and or lose the game. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so your final result is a game that looks about like this. When I run into that, I have a loser screen. And I say, ouch, you start again. If I can avoid him and I get to her, I have a winning screen and a positive message. So he responds to colliding to each thing in two different ways and you're happy. Once you have that together, I want you to make sure that you hit share on your project, then copy your URL and paste it into Canvas and get you some points.